Oh, you're starting? Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to talk about some tools, and we just want to get ourselves a little bit familiar with some of the instruments you will, or tools you'll be using uh, for this class, and we'll start to help with A, the understanding, and B, a little bit of that safety, because I don't want anyone to hurt themselves. All right, so in terms of safety, the safety goggles, right? A couple of different types that we have here. If you wear glasses, you need to wear something like this. And I'm just, it's going to be kind of random, so I'm just going to go from the closest that I'm, that's to me. This is a drill, all right? Sue gun, our drill, and this is the corded version. And over here is the cordless version. So it's a screw gun, cordless screw gun. That's the battery on the back. Yes. This is the battery the bottom. So it's a rechargeable battery and charges <coughs> in the shop there. Usually have to get a couple of these so that one's charging or the other one's being used. Once this is out, then you can get the other one. Alright. This right here. It's a jigsaw. jigsaw. Fantastic. So this is a corded jigsaw. Very good. Uh, multiple different types of blades you can use here. Grinder. Who said that? A grinder? Oh, no, no. It's a router. Uh, what does that do? Basically, what the router does is if you've ever seen, well, you see how this, this edge of the table has a, a curve to it, mm -hmm. right? If you're using a piece of wood, the wood originally comes like this, right? Mm -hmm. This will help to give a curve. So you can have bevels, sharp angles, 45 degree angles, little swirly swirls, whatever you want to do to make a little bit of decoration. Usually on things like doors, molding, that kind of thing. So, so what on the drill makes it? This part right here. This part right here rotates and there's blades on it oh, okay. and this will actually cut into the wood. Is okay. blades right. what you touch it? Yes, the, the blade. Oh, no, don't touch it. The blade right there. Oh, oh okay. I see. Oh, that's oh. So you put it on the so edge? The, cut, the blade oh. right there. So you basically you have it right here like this and you, it turns on and you go <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's not fair. That's not fair. <coughs> like dog food. Dog treat. Sure. All right. Now this people already said it. Okay. And this is a disc sander. Right. So you put the sand paper in a in a disc on top of that, and you grind away. Extension cord. cord. Oh my God. One of the yeah. things, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about this more, but you don't wind up extension cord like this. Mm -hmm. uh, I think most of our parents used to do this, something yes. like that. That's not, how you, that's not how you wind it up. Because the extension cords have a whole lot of cords inside of it, mm -hmm. and they're coiled. Mm -hmm. When you do it like this, you tar start to twist the coil in the, opposite, in the wrong direction. So mm. when you put it together, you're winding it up. That's how you. <laughs> All right. All the criminals know what this is. Crowbar. Crowbar. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I would say not a criminal, but. This right here is a, is a level, right? And this is how you can tell whether a surface is flat. And you look at this little bubble inside, and if it's in the center part, that means whatever object, a table, or whatever you're working on is basically And this is another type of leveling tool. It's a bevel. Right? It's adjustable. And this will help us to get right angles very quickly. And 
this is another type, basically the same kind of thing with this. But this is also adjustable here, so you can get angles, any kind of angle you want. Hmm. Right? So it's also a level. Is it that's that end is sharp, right? No, this is not sharp. Cool. It's not a, it's not a sharp thing. All right. Again, for getting <coughs> angles, this is a square. You might be familiar with like a T square, right? Because this part would be in the middle part, it forms a T. You can call this an L square, that's fine. But it just basically means that when we want to, when we're making platforms or flats, we want to make sure the angles are 90 degrees, so we use this tool right here. Screwdrivers. Anybody know the difference? Flathead. Flathead. Phillips head screwdriver Flathead. and a flathead screwdriver. Right. Adjustable. Adjustable, right? So this right here will allow me to adjust to whatever size the nut or the bolt is. Right. And then we have pliers. pliers. So there's a whole bunch of different types of pliers. So basically anything that has a hinge here that can open up and close like that will, will be considered a plier. So there's needle nose pliers, really long, adjustable pliers. So this is not a very common tool, but maybe somebody knows what this is. Okay. Those look like those little right. keys. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, what? It's an Allen wrench. Yes. Right. Yes. So this, is a, this tool has multiple Allen wrenches on it. Sorry. And good stuff to use. Staple gun. Staple gun. Back to a little bit more safety. These are always good to use just to make sure your hands stay safe. So this is a cordless electric staple gun, right, or a power nailer. Right. Oh, wow. Nails in here. What? It's actually a, it's technically a power nailer. That's, that's the name I would prefer. So you can put nails in that chamber. Oh, you gonna you gonna let him shoot me? Get behind me. The staples have the, the U shape. So these are just straight in. So you press this in here, you press that button, and the nails come out. You don't cut your fingers? Yes. You can nail your finger. No. But there's the safety feature here, you have to be pressing it down on the person working. But of course, you know, you don't want to have the They set on three or multiples, multiple nails at a time. Then you can accidentally go. Ooh, three, four, five. Jeez. Circular saw, right? And this is the cordless kind. So circular saws are really, really cool. No, they're not. Like that tool. That tool. All right, and oh. hammer, hammer. 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 Yeah. 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 All right, here's the unfortunate part about this class. I'm going to have to ask you to understand some numbers. All right, so you're going to have to understand how fractions work. I'm not going to go into like, you know, 11 sixteenths, but. You should you should have a basic understanding about what that means. Oh, okay. So when we start going into scale, that's when everybody's head will spin because I'm going to ask you draw a six foot person at a quarter inch scale. How tall is that person when you're drawing it? So all that fun stuff. All right. This is also in the same family as this guy. So a triangle square. Right. So it's, a, it's basically a square, so you can get, again, 90 degree angle, but it's oh, a triangle, triangle square. square. Oh, okay. right. <laughs> this
this is a set of drill bits. And these go into this guy here, and we cut holes into wood and or metal. This guy as well. What's the difference between those two? Cordless and cordless. So you can call this a screw gun. Does that hold one? This one? No, same size. That's a measure of that. It it's a marker. marker. Yeah. That's the chalk thing. The chalk. Chalk, yeah. That's close to it. Chalk line. Chalk line. Right. So this is a chalk line. Right. And basically what you do with this is it allows you to create straight lines. Hold this. And put it down there. And you snap and you can get a line like that. That's clever. Never would again. Chocolate. So, so that allows you to figure out a straight line depending on where you want to where you want to draw or paint or something or paint something. So if you're if you're painting, for example, something large scale and you need to grid it out, you use a chalk line to create a grid so you know how to where to place different parts. When you're trend, when you're looking at a, a painting and you need to create something much larger in scale. All right. I was just going to ask what color it would be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is a little purplish. Uh, it's, it's got this this. Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> this one particularly just has some red and blue mixed in, but it usually comes in red, blue, uh, black, charcoal, and the, uh, yellow. And depending on what you're doing, will determine what color you use. Can you change the color? Yes. yes. There's a opening in here, and you just pour the chalk in there. So right now, a whole bunch of blue powder yep. chalk. So what determines the, the, the color that you use? Things like what you're going to actually be painting. If I was, if I needed to paint something like this, perhaps this floor, and I wanted to grid it out, I might use the blue so that, so that when I paint over it, it disappears. Right. Right. Uh, the other thing is, black is also a good one because it's charcoal as opposed to the the color. The color ones have have a pigment as an oil in it, and so when they they tend to stay. They tend to stay on whatever you're painting longer. And so I, I usually don't like that. So depending on what it is I'm painting, I want it to go away. So I'll use black charcoal, and that way when I, when I paint over that and start to sweep it away, yeah. it'll go, it goes away. All right? So now let's put some of the big guys here. Table this saw. is a table saw, right? There's definitely some things that you want to learn about this, and we'll go about that later when we start to actually use it. But we don't like to put our hands here when oh, it's okay. turned on. Okay. Okay. You know we don't want to do that. No, I, I, I have all my hands. So this is a air compressor. Oh, okay. So the air compressor will allow us to basically, if you're a bit to a bike shop or, or a car mechanic shop, and they have the, the pneumatic tools, pneumatic means that they use air to, to power it. So you can actually have pneumatic drill bits or uh, screw guns, pneumatic socket wrenches, wrenches so that so that you're, or oh, pneumatic nailers as well, so that it's basically the same kind of thing, but using air to, to power, all right? This right here is a, let's get a little bit more dynamic video on it. So, yeah, come, come at it, come at it. Right, so, 
This is. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is a table saw. Oh. oh I'm sorry. Yeah, work, yeah. work bench. Sorry. Work bench. All right. So, yeah, so basically you can put material on here, put a piece of wood on here, and you can just have it here and, and cut. And it's adjustable in terms of where these go. Right? Some of them you can get are adjustable in height. This is more of a painting tool, All right. but this fan I would use to dry paint faster. So, actors are going to be coming on stage in an hour and a half. I just painted the floor. I need to be dry quicker. So, I'll put a fan on there and we go from there. This is a great painting tool. Make sure everybody gets familiar with this. This is a shop vac, a wet dry vac. So that basically means you can pick up, you can suck up wet stuff, and you can suck up the dry stuff. So. <laughs> That's that. All right, so there's a, just a few more tools in here that can't move. So let's check, check that out. This is, anybody might know what this is? Miter saw. Miter saw. All right, so this is a miter saw, and we have a very sophisticated miter saw, because it can do a whole bunch of different things. So it can actually come 